Oakland Zoo is making history. Veterinarians there are now vaccinating animals against COVID-19. The zoo is using an experimental drug uniquely formulated for animals. Dr. Alex Herman is, at, uh, is the head veterinarian at the zoo. She joins us now to tell us more about this groundbreaking program. Dr. Herman, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. The transmissions in animals, at least not in the news, what was the driving force behind this particular program? Well, we know that our animals are at risk and the animals that are at risk are mostly order carnivora. So that's tigers, bears, otters, um, and also primates. Uh, you know, the gorillas at San Diego Zoo got COVID-19. We know that tigers and lions have become quite ill from COVID-19. So uh, certainly a, a pressing need to do something in addition to all of the uh, PPE that we've been doing this whole time during the pandemic pandemic very successfully to keep our animals safe. Now when those animals I remember we actually reported about it was a, it was a while back that we talked about the the gorillas and the and the and the feline animals um, at the zoo. Uh, what were their symptoms? Were they similar to what we were seeing in humans? And if so, uh, does that allow for a similar type of vaccination, if you will, to what we as humans have received or are receiving? So luckily here at the Oakland Zoo, we haven't had any animals sick with COVID-19, um, but the animals all over the world that have been sick with COVID-19, um, everything from mild nasal discharge and a small cough and quick recovery to uh, very severe signs and even some documented deaths in some lions um, overseas. So luckily at Oakland Zoo, all our care has really paid off, uh, but certainly we know that these precious animals, these beautiful animals are at risk. So that's why we're galvanizing and working with Zoetis to um, get them vaccinated. So it's pretty exciting. I love it. I feel like when something like this comes around or a pandemic happens or, you know, something that impacts humans so much, sometimes animals fall by the wayside. Um, but I'm so happy that, you know, the Oakland Zoo is taking these proactive steps to kind of protect the animals because at the end of the day, they don't have a voice. They can't tell you if they're not feeling well. It's our job as caretakers to make sure that they stay healthy and are okay. Now, uh, what does this program entail? What kind of, uh, I guess, trials are being conducted? How are they being conducted? And what has been, uh, if there has been any results so far? So um, more than a million uh mink have received this vaccine. Um, the early adopter uh, of the vaccine before us, of course, was San Diego Zoo, who vaccinated their gorillas and big cats, dogs, cats, mice. Uh, more than a million doses have been tested with no adverse effects in any of the animals. So certainly seems very, very safe for us to be using this uh, and certainly some urgent need. Uh, we want to make sure that they don't get sick um, or gravely ill with COVID-19. So it seems like the Zoetis do, has done a lot of good science. It's very safe and it's gonna be very effective to save the animals um, and keep them healthy. The other thing is, is our animals here are trained by our animal care staff to voluntarily participate in medical procedures, which makes my team's life a lot easier. Mm -hmm. All their hard work really pays off. But with something like this where, hey, we finally got our vaccines. This is great. We're mobilizing. Let's get all these guys safe the next day. So bears, tigers, mountain lions. We moved right out into the zoo and working with animal care successfully got a lot of animals their first vaccine. So we have a lot more animals to go and a lot of boosters to do, but so far the um, rollout's going great. Well, we're just showing video of the various animals receiving the vaccine and at the end I love that they were giving the bear I look like whipped cream I could be wrong but it's just kind of like you know very very quick vaccination and then just kind of distract them with something else. It's all voluntary, positive, reward-based behavior, which is how we manage our intelligent animals here at the zoo. And I can't remember which bear liked which, but it was a choice of either whipped cream or ice cream. <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, Dr. Herman, does this mean that all animals at the zoo uh, are, will be vaccinated? Uh, no, there's only certain animals that so far the data shows are at risk. So again, that's uh, the big cats, the primates, the bears, mustelids, which are ferrets and river otters. So we'll be vaccinating the at-risk groups of animals. Um, so far, there are many animals where 
there isn't evidence that they're at risk from COVID-19, so those guys will not be getting the vaccine. But certainly if we get more data on top of it um, and in front of everything so we can do what's best for the beautiful animals. Now you said- They are beautiful. I know I keep saying that, but they're They gorgeous. are. I mean, they really, really are. And it's just so nice to kind of see them get the care uh, that they, they, again, can't really ask for, um, but they are being protected from, from a pandemic that's impacted the world, uh, literally. Uh, you said the cats, the big cats are getting vaccinated. Does that mean that cat owners could potentially be looking at a vaccine for their cats, uh, 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 you know, a pet cat at home? I think that might be in the future. I don't know for sure. Um, I think that's something that the evidence will spool out on going forward. So I don't have a good answer to that question right now. And then um, the vaccines, I know you said they got their first shot, their first dose, uh, mm -hmm. and then potentially boosters to come. Have you been seeing any post-vaccine side effects? Like I know as humans, we get the vaccine and we can have, uh, I mean, visibly the the, the symptoms I guess you could see in an animal is maybe lethargy, fatigue, um, they just kind of don't eat as much. Have you been seeing any symptoms in the animals post vaccine? Not so far. Seems oh, like everybody's good. doing great. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So Dr. Herman, last question. What are you hoping to achieve? Obviously, this is an experimental um, program right now. What is your ultimate goal with this? And, and you know, could this expand to something greater in the future? It's a very good question. Certainly the immediate goal is safety for the animals here on campus. Uh, and then of course we are collecting data on every animal that we're doing. We're submitting it all uh, so we can really support accredited zoological institutions around the world uh, with giving this animal or giving this vaccine to the animals. So uh, every week we're going to do a full report on every animal that's gotten this vaccine. So always, always in zoological medicine and the function of our zoo is conservation, education, helping all of the animals, um, both in the wild and in captivity. So we take very seriously our mission to contribute data to, to further evidence-based care of these animals. Well, I can tell you as an animal lover, a huge animal lover myself, I just love what this program is. And I also really enjoyed watching the video uh, of the bear kind of getting the whipped cream and just seeing how the positive reinforcement is being utilized along with kind of protecting them the way you guys are. Well, Dr. Herman, really yeah. appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're so welcome. Thanks a lot.